did the magnitude 4.9 and the 3.7 that we just had hit now in the Long Valley Caldera and east uh, of that, well basically it's the Long Valley Caldera area and just east of that the volcanic field in Nevada, did that cause the five or six earthquakes around that area and also down towards Ridgecrest? That's all a volcanic field as we know. It's basically along the Owens River Valley. And uh, let's take a look at that because uh, it's to me more than a coincidence that it's happened in the same amount of the uh, 4.9, 4.3, and the quake swarm that we had in Long Valley Caldera and uh, just east of that Nevada across the border. But it doesn't mean that it's just, you know, separate. They're not separate. This is the Long Valley Caldera area. But look at this. We had the... Oh, they've just, they've, from a 3.7, they've adjusted it to a 4.0. What's going on here? I guess they've just changed it to a 4.0, unless it's a new quake in the past hour, um, above the 3.7. Uh, okay, okay, they've, they've adjusted that to a 4.0, I guess. My mistake, they've uh, changed it to a 4.0 from a 3.7. But uh, you can see this, the red is the past hour, and uh, we've had some uh, bigger, not that one, this one here, 4.9 is what I was talking about, and this is 4.0. They're all uh, shallow, about 10 kilometers depth, and you can see there's about five, the red are the f past hour, and um, there's a lot of shaking going on there. And this past hour, we had all along this line as well. Two of them here in Ridgecrest. And they're not big, but it's uh, along the Owens River Valley. Right there, 2.0. That's a little bit deeper, it's 15 kilometers. This is 0 0.8 magnitude, and that one is 0 0.7 at 11 kilometers. So what's going on there? Obviously, this is the 4.9 shaking from what we saw before, has shaken Mono Lake. That's Mono Lake, Long Valley Caldera, in your craters right here, Owens River Valley. This whole area has been shaken. All of this is volcanic areas, volcanoes, Nevada volcanoes there, but it has shaken the Long Valley Caldera, and that's been shaking for over a good month now, with hundreds of quakes, hundreds of quakes a day. And this is Ridgecrest right here, right here. This is the San Andreas Fault. This is the Hayward Fault of the San Andreas Fault system. This is the Garlic Fault. And we had the, a day, uh, the other day we had a 3.5 right here on the Hayward Fault that shook um, the San Francisco Bay. Hayward Fault. And, uh, we, and I, that, if you see a couple of videos back, the simulation there uh, says that they are expecting a large earthquake in all three parts of the San Andreas, the north, central, and south. Um, they are expecting large earthquakes. Now, this thing here is, of course, our volcanic area. As we said before, the, the, um, this is the map of the Mono Lake area, and where we have our legend here is where we have our um, Nevada quakes right here. The legend here is where we have our Nevada quakes, east of uh, Mono Lake, right here. This is where we have our Nevada quakes. And as you can see, that uh, intensity of shaking, unfortunately, they stopped the block here. Uh, but if we were to extrapolate the lines, this whole area would shake, even the valley here, California, the valley here. But of course, Long Valley is shaking with such earthquakes. And uh, the latest one being four. Let's see that shake map. They've, they've given us a, a, shape, a shake map again. Let's take the, I don't think it's gonna be shaking the lake, but still it's not. Let's go for the tectonics and uh, uh, aerial. Okay, uh, we extrapolate, we, if we extrapolate and more of that. Now, if we extrapolate the shaking, of course, it shook again. I mean, of course, it's not good for this supervolcano to be shaking so much. It's got magma under there. It's even got a 
geothermal plant under there. But this has been going on for like over a month, as I said. Now, if we remember, okay, this is Salt Lake. On March 18, we had a 5.7 magnitude quake out of nowhere that hit here, Salt Lake City. And then about two weeks later, we had a, this is Yellowstone. This is that lava. You see that lava right there? That's around Boise, Idaho. There you go. Okay, that's better. I guess we can see better now. Okay, this is uh, Yellowstone Lake. There's Yellowstone Lake. You can see that right there. That's Hebgen Lake. That's Yellowstone. This is all Yellowstone Supervolcano. It's all Yellowstone Supervolcano. That's the Snake River Plain. This is Idaho. And this is um, two weeks later, after this uh, uh, March 18, when we had a 5.7 out of nowhere, and we were still having earthquake storms there, we had a 6.5 in Idaho two weeks later. Now, this thing here, uh, I don't know, I don't believe that they're connected, but the thing is that they have the same mantle plume. That mantle plume comes from Baja. The western part goes under San Andreas and Walker Lane Fault System, and the eastern part, it's like a big Y. The eastern part goes through this area here, these um, fault lines here, in, onto, uh, in, into Utah, under Salt Lake City, up to Yellowstone, and again, it turns west, and uh, it's in Idaho. It's like an imaginary seven, like that. Okay, so that's the man, the shape of the mantle plume from what the geologists have shown us. And um, I don't know, could it be this pressure from the mantle plume that uh, causes those uh, earthquakes? But they're called tectonic earthquakes. Now, going back to Long Valley, it last erupted 760,000 years ago, as we said. And uh, this is our... Uh, Nine volcanoes of Nevada. This is uh, Mono Lake right there. This is where we have our, well, take your pick, you know, the Adobe Hills or Orobodi. Uh, th these are all the closest volcanoes. You have Steamboat Springs. You have uh, one more volcano that's not on there, but it's all full of volcanoes. Just as um, uh, Utah, there's Salt Lake. Utah has eight volcanoes south of Salt Lake. Right there, eight volcanoes here. And uh, Idaho has nine volcanoes here. So this whole area, as we said before, is full of volcanoes. There's Idaho, Salt Lake, Utah, Salt Lake City, Nevada has 10 volcanoes. So this whole area is, uh, to me, I'm not um, at all uh, comfortable with the fact that this is shaking so much. This is the 4.9 shaking that we uh, had today. 4.9. A couple of a couple of days ago, yesterday, the day before, we had a 3.5 on the Hayward Fault right here, and um, that's overdue uh, for a, a major earthquake, from what the geologists have told us. So all of you there, please be very careful. Because oh, there's another one that just popped up now. That just popped up now. You saw it pop up with me. Okay, so you can see that. Um, Something's going on there. It's like really, oh, there's a motorcycle outside. Uh, something is really, you know, going on there. As we said before, there's an influx of magma in Long Valley Caldera. There's an influx of magma. Okay. And uh, it says here, the caldera has been showing unrest in recent years. Of course, this has been written uh, years ago. This uh, text, but they should maybe uh, update this. Uh, unrest in recent years in the form of deformation, deformation meaning inflation, because there's magma coming in, of the caldera floor and earthquake swarms, and it contains numerous hot springs and fumaroles. In order to better study and monitor the caldera and changes, USG established Long Valley Observatory. I'm not going to go lower than the map because there's a terrible picture of this woman lying there, you know, I don't know what, why, how they could have such pictures on there, I have no idea. Uh, I'm very dismayed at that. But anyway, all of you there, please be very careful, because um, it's not only 
uh, Long Valley, and hardly anybody lives out there from what we see. Let's go to the population. Even though some people, 33 people, have reported this, there's hardly anybody living out here. I think there's some population out here. You can see. There's hardly anybody there. But uh, please be very careful because uh, this is one of the most active uh, quake areas in the world as far as population is concerned as well. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.